Slack Attack. Hey, how you doing? My name is Major Slack, and um, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. I'm sorry about my absence. Um, this was tax. It's tax time here. I do my own taxes, and um, yeah, I spent a good part of the week um, crunching numbers and figuring out how much I owe to the Quebec government, and then crying the blues for several days when I figure that out. And uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, no, it's just very time consuming. And um, yeah. So somebody had to take the hit, and since I've been ignoring uh, Major Slack videos for the last seven weeks, um, I started a new walkthrough there. Great new shooter called Shadow Warrior 2. And that's all I had time to do, plus my um, my hobby channel, Slack Lab, and the no commentary walkthrough I'm doing there. So this time Major Slack Attack got the short end of the stick, and I just didn't have time to do videos for this. So that's why I haven't been doing videos here lately, but I'm back! I am back! So let's play some more Dawn Guard, and this is just finishing off this um, task we have here to get together a couple of Elder Scrolls. This here, find a Dragon Elder Scroll and a Blood Elder Scroll. I should attack this on to the, the end of the last video, because um, this isn't going to take very long. All we have to do is go to the other side of Black Reach, which is where we are now, and fool around with a couple of Gizmos, and then we're going to get an Elder Scroll. After that, I'm going to start this epic journey to get the Ethereal Crown. This is also part of... Uh, can I wait? Yes, I can. Yeah, this is a side quest that is uh, made available to you with the Dongar DLC. Lost, lost to, the, to the Ages. And this will reward you with a number of items. Ethereal items, one of which is the Ethereal Crown. And the Ethereal Crown allows you to have two standing stones active at the same time. And I want to do this next because this is perfect. I want to power level enchanting so that I can get the extra effect perk. And I'll be able to power level enchanting a lot faster if I can have the ethereal crown. So might as well might as well do this because this is part of the Dawn Guard DLC, this side quest here. So this is what is next after we do that. Um, we'll get back to the main Dawn Guard quest line. And I'm sure a lot of you will want to know how. That's a smithing book. I'm going to say that. Yeah, how you can have two standing stones active at the same time. So namely, you could have the lover stone and your choice of a guardian stone active at the same time. Giving you a 35% better skill leveling for whatever skill you choose. And you could add on the well-rested bonus on top of that, bump it up to 45%. Actually, that's a bit of an exploit, but um, it's in a gray area where I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to show you both, all that at the end of this run. So here we are. This is exactly where we want to be. You got the, the lexicon there, and we got to push this button four times. The second button here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Push it four times. Wait till it stops moving. Three. And when you push it the fourth time, the lexicon is going to light up. It lights up, and this button will light up. Okay, now we push this button twice. And the final button here lights up. Push that, and the Elder Scroll will drop down. There we go. So let's take back the lexicon. It's been transcribified and grab the Elder Scroll. That will complete part one of this quest here. Well, this is not really a quest. It's just kind of a list of, you know, a fetch it list. Okay, so we got part one done. Part two, that is where we take Serena on a giant gigantic escort run through a magical place called the Soul Cairn. And that's coming up after this Lost to the Ages run. Okay, that's part of the main quest line. We'll do that later. But for now, like I said, I want to power level enchanting up to 100 to get the extra effect. Because I'm tired of switching back and forth with my gear. Um, you know, I've got some crossbow gear here, and I've got some deadly dagger gear here. 
and I'm tired of switching back and forth, so I want to um, dual enchant a lot of items. So we got some stuff to sell. Let's go to where there's some money. White run offload, and then we'll get right on that Lost to the Ages quest. This is actually just taking a few minutes. I should have really just you tacked this on to the end. Done. Quiet, you were doing a walkthrough here. Yeah, I should have tacked this on to the end of the last video. Um, I wasn't thinking that. Like I thought my journey through Blackreach would be a lot more extensive. Okay. Good pieces out here if you're looking Do you? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let's sell her that. Keep the woodcutter's axe down to apparel. Oh, we got some boots now. Okay. Keep the helmet. Um, sell her this, this, this. That looks good. I've also got some heavy arse dragon bones and whatnot. And that's all she can take. 29 bucks left. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I do. I need some more money at my disposal. So let's go inside. Talk to Ulf Berth. He's got a separate inventory. Sell some more stuff to him. Hmm. Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Alright, now on that, we can sell him that. Keeping that, sell him a ruby. And I've got a bunch of Dwemer metal that I can... smelt into... Uh... Still got 500 bucks left, eh? Well, I think that's it. We're golden. Good doing. Should have fifty-four thousand. I'm not sure why I don't, but anyways, no biggie. What fifty-three is not enough for your slack? No. I don't claim to be the best <laughs> blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that on me. Man's steel is legendary. Okay, that's that. Off to the COW. College of Winterhold. Offload and they'll get right on the Lost to the Ages quest. What, no dragon? You're slipping, game. You're slipping. Have this dragon stalking me, literally stalking me. Took out a restraining order, but he's not, you know, he's not respecting it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Carry weight 121. Um, let's offload that helmet. I'm too heavy for some reason. Okay, just let me take a minute, minute or two to figure out what's going on here. Now, I should have a ton of Dwarven metal ingots. Yeah. And we're going to get even more after we complete this epic quest. To get the Ethereal Crown. Let's do that right now. Lost to the Ages. This starts by reading a book called The Ethereum Wars. You can find this book anywhere. Actually, you can find a copy of it um, right here in the College of Winterhold. And this will mark a location of it, uh, the first thing to do in this quest on your map. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. So you go to the uh, the Hall of Elements, hang it right here into the Arcanium. Go upstairs here. The easiest place to get... Um, I think I actually picked it up, but I sold it. I didn't read it before I sold it. Looking for the Lord Stone right there. On the way up to the Lord Stone, after level 10, the Hall of, Vigil Hall of the Vigilant will be plundered and pillaged by vampires, and all that, will be, all that will be left is a bunch of dead vigilants. And if you go there, laying on the ground in the burnt out building is a copy of the Ethereum Wars. That's where you usually get it. Crack that open, and you're going to get. Well, I'll show you what happens when you crack it open. If that didn't happen to you, or if you just didn't go there, go to the Arcanium, and you got a copy of the Ethereum Wars right here. Can't take it, but you can just at least read it. 
Just flip through it. Flip through all the pages, put it back, and you get a location marked on your map. Map updated, investigate the ruins of Arking Thams. <laughs> okay, here we go with these Swahili pig Latin names. Uh, Arking Thams! Let's get Mr. Map to show us where this is. This is a miscellaneous objective for now. Mr. Map, take us to Arking Thames. It's right southeast of Dushtigyal, that orc stronghold, which is southeast of Markart. All right. So, let's go there now. We're ready to rock and roll. Should be able to get outside to Skyrim right here. I love doing that. Okay, here we go. Where are you going there, my little rented doggy? Um, as soon as we get there. By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Okay, I I was told I was welcome, but anyways, I don't even want to deal with you. So um, I'll just be on my merry way. We don't want you here. Remember that. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't get that blessing yet. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, okay. When we go back to the Fort Dongar, one of the orcs there is going to give us the blessing. Um, let me make sure I got the right gear on to take care of a bear. We got some other activity here. This looks like it's a vampire activity. Okay. <laughs> Cop between a rock and a hard place here. Um, shields up, Scotty. Got the calm, 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 calm. Out of boy. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Good bear. <laughs> Bad bear. Okay, so... Oh shit, here comes a vampire. I don't want to deal with it, really. Let's just go inside. Did you come in? Did you follow me in? Okay. Here we go. Chicken shit quick save. And... As soon as you enter, you get this ghostly voice telling you to turn back. Turn back before it's too late. Go down into this area here. Push to the south a little bit, and then turn around, and you get this individual here approaching you, Catria. What are you still doing here? Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. Sorry, I got a mouthful of juice here. What treasure? It's a long story. You ever heard of Ethereum? A rare mineral used by the dwarves. Supposedly, they had to build a special forge, the Ethereum Forge, to even work with it. The items it made were so powerful, they went to war over it, and the forge was lost. Or so the story goes. And that story led you here? I spent my life tracking down that legend until my damn apprentice stole everything from me and published it all under his own name. And now, now I can't rest. Not until I have proof. Something to show the world what I discovered, what I did, that my life mattered. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Okay, so your bootlick ripped off your life's work. Um, I think we can handle ourselves. <laughs> Maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? Nope. I know. We don't I like know. escorts. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You 
Want a hand? Or what I meant to say is we don't like companions. Now, you can take her on as a follower and she'll, she'll kind of like, you know, lead you through this whole complex to the end there. And this is beginning the whole Lost to the Ages quest. Um, you don't have to do that. You can actually go alone. And I'm going to do that. So, thanks, but no thanks. It's your funeral. <laughs> thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay. If you do agree to take her on, the Lost to the Ages quest will officially begin. You'll see a little notification going across there. Um, but that's okay. You don't have to um, bring her along as a follower. I'd rather go alone. It'd be a lot easier to stealth around without her. And when you get to the end there... Um, when you get to the end there, she'll appear anyways, and the quest will start there. Um, make sure you hit up this her body here because she's a ghost, right? Take her journal. There's another copy, the Ethereum Wars. Um, yeah, might as well take that. I didn't mean to take that steel armor. Take this ring and the two daggers. There you go. Don't want this too heavy. <laughs> Actually, you look kind of sexy there, Katria. Yeah, I don't want you falling off the edge here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's on. Muffle it up. Invisible. Should be some dwarves and spiders here, if I recall correctly. There we go. Oh yeah. Check all dwarven remains because they often have soul gems. And if you got the crossbow, they may have uh, bolts as well. Okay, the way to continue is to go up this pipe here. Go up this pipe here. Careful, careful. Round here. Up here, and they're gonna drop down on the left here. All right, now we got one of these thing really geek thingamajigs here. To continue, we're gonna have to shoot this one. So let's take out our bow. Shoot that, and that should open up that right there. Get the dagger on. By the way, you should have a pretty well-developed character to do all this, because it gets pretty heavy combat later on. You're going to be dealing with high-level Falmers and, uh, yeah, all kinds of... Uh... I don't feel like chasing that guy down there, so <laughs> it's going to leave him. All he's going to cop up is the Falmer ear. And uh, I don't need to make myself invisible because these guys are blind. You only need to make yourself quiet. Scaly Foliota. Okay, so you can see Katria down there. That's pretty cool. Should be another Falmer over here. There we go. Okay, he's a big boy. Uh-oh. Got him. Okay. Okay, calm. Calm. Stop moving. Stop moving. Atta boy. Hi, Katria. Hello. I'm over here. Haha. <laughs> uh okay, we could use uh, some glowing mushrooms. This one's always hard to pick, so I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, glowing mushrooms. 
good for smithing potions. So there's a few of them around here in this area. Avail yourself of those. And we have, uh oh, got some chorus hunters here. They can see. So let's make ourselves invisible. You gonna chill? I love it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> yeah, hanging out with those courses. That'll give you a fleas. Um, these flying chorus hunters, they're best handled. Are these chorus hunters or? There are some coming up ahead though, I'm sure. Oh, here comes this guy. Keeping lookout, eh? Well, tell the boss you're doing a bang-up job. Okay, we're going across there and up that away. Okay, there's a chorus right there, so he can see, so you gotta. Make yourself invisible. Um, let's see if we can do like a dagger attack on this guy here. This could turn into a total debacle. Let me just do a quick save here. What I could do is. <laughs> yeah, why not? Easy way to take care of. Uh, oh, yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Did you hear somebody shout? Yeah, me too. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay. Better get out of here before they call the uh, call the authorities. Let me grab some quickly grab some glowing mushrooms here. Okay. Up in this area, here's where the the chorus hunters are. You gotta watch out for these guys. These are great. these guys are deadly. Um, let me put on the. Uh, actually, I think it's better to just calm them. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around. There we go. Calm. 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 Everybody's calm. Great. Calm. Everybody calm. <laughs> there on that log. Something's on to me. This probably won't, uh... This is Catcher's Bow. I forget what it's called. Right out there. Let me just do a quick save here. She'll point this out to you if you bring her along as a follower. The Zephyr. Yeah, so if you want a bow that um, has 30% faster draw speed, grab that. It 
it does not outperform the crossbow at all though. So I got lost, hang on. Here we go. And this is exactly where we want to be. In this big chamber here with that dwarven mask there. And it is puzzle time, boys and girls. Oh boy, puzzle time! Woo! Yeah, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> now, if you didn't bring Katria with you, she'll meet you here. You're talking to the slack. What this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple and very, very deadly. See the resonators up there? Uh -huh. Strike them in the right order, and the door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. At this point, the quest officially starts, no matter what. Alright, so, any advice? Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Okay, there's a clue. Okay, so, we gotta get this door open. We got five uh, thingamajigs, let's call them thingamajigs here. Up there, see? These were the gig things. One, two, three four and five all right and you have to open them up hit them in the right order in order to open up this door if you hit them in the wrong order this is going to spit out enemies you're going to have to deal with the enemies every time they get it wrong all right you don't want that um first of all you can check out her journal to get some clues Katria's journal she's taking some notes she managed to get the first two right there we go so the one at the bottom left is number one, and the one at the bottom right is number two. But that's all she managed to figure out. All right, that's the first one. That's the second one. Now, if you go over to this guy here, and he's got this scrap of paper. Take the scrap of paper. Look at that, and he'll tell you where number three is. That's all the game gives you. Gives you the first three. So we know that bottom left is number one, bottom right is number two, top right or top left is number three, and one of those two is number four and the other one is number five. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what what the answer is. Okay, so let's just do it right now. Uh, let's get out our crossbow. Quick say just in case I screw this up. Shoot this one first. Bottom left. Bottom right is number two. Top left is number three. You may have to back up here to be able to hit it. That's number three. You can also hit these with destruction spells as well. Top right is number four. And finally, bottom center is number five. That's the right way. So this is it. Let me just get some light on the scene here. So, this is what we're after here, the Ethereum Shard. Is real. 
What? What is this? Let me see it. Huh. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece, about the same size, it would... it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's... it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. The key to the forge. How about that? So what now? We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be... hmm... three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. And then what? We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that, too. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. Oh, Don't great, okay. I'm sure of it. For the first time in a long while, I think I... We may actually be able to do this. And... And I owe it all to you. Thank you. Torrent nothing. And that's it, she disappears. And we can loot the place. It opens a dwarven metal ingots. And some dwarven metal that we can smelt into dwarven ingots. We could take that and sell it. There's another dwarven ingot. And there's stuff up here, don't forget to grab that. You may have to jump and spam the take button to get those more over here. Take that. That's no good. That's no good. We can sell this. Same deal here. Jump. Spam the take button. And jump, spam the take button, get that. And that should be it, except for this chest here. Another chest here. Ooh. Sweet. And one more here. Boya. Yeah. We're done. How do you get out of here, Slack? How do you get I'll show you how to get out. Just wanna see if this guy had anything more interesting on him. Gold lock pick. And that's about it. There we go, I didn't forget the gold. One gold. Okay, go to the river. <laughs> Black, you didn't get the gold on that guy. Go to the river, look to the west, you see that little tunnel there, right? Okay. Swim through the tunnel. We just take these uh, glowing mushrooms here. Go through the tunnel. And hopefully you've got the Become Ethereal Shout. Makes you invincible for uh, a few seconds. Hook that up. Shout. Jump down. And you can drop all the way down to our starting place. This is where we met Katria in the first place. Right? And then we just walk out of here. And we are done. So begins the epic journey of Lost to the Ages. We have to find three more Ethereum shards. Lost to the Ages right there, okay? Search for three more shards. I'm going to show you exactly where they are coming up in the videos to follow. That's it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos as soon as I post them to YouTube. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you next video.